Hi, Dave. Hello. <laughs> What's your main purpose in coming here this time? The exhibition at Parker. Exhibition of my Polaroids. Right. Um, which is start, it's just started, in fact. Mm-hmm. It's started. Oh, it started on the 19th. Right. It runs till the 26th, I think. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have the book right here, Perspectives. Um, how long have you been doing this sort of work? I uh, started uh, on the last Japan tour, which was at the end of 82. Mm -hmm. And this sort of started as a, a sideline to the drawing of the film. And then took over from it, so it became an obsession, really. So once, once I started... Uh, trying out different ideas. I kept wanting to explore further and further, see what I could do with them. You've got um, pictures of most of the people who worked on your last, well, your last album. I mean, it's your first solo album. Mm -hmm. But um, you, you had people like Holger Shukai mm -hmm. and um, John Hassel and a lot of fairly unexpected people really working on the album. Mm -hmm. um, what made you think of using those people to begin with? Because... I admire them, I respect them all, listen to their own albums. I mean, most of them are composers. Right. And, and release albums in their own names. So um, it really was, I'm really like a fan of most of the people on the album. It was really like going through my record collection and picking out names of people I, I wanted to work with, or people who I thought would suit the material, or individual songs, on, you know, that I was working on. Right. When you first approached them, did you find that they were all aware of you from from Japan? Oh no, they weren't. Most of them never heard of me. So how did That's they right. react? Well, I had to send them tapes. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, not all of them, but a couple of them wanted to hear something. Obviously, what I'd done, and um, well, I must have been impressed by something because they said yes. Everyone I asked said yes. Well, I was very lucky. How much? I presume you gave them quite a lot of freedom in the recording of the album. Well, that's the idea, to sort of create an atmosphere that, where they would feel comfortable and involved in what was going on and not feel just like a session musician coming in and sort of putting something down that they and going away without ever feeling they've become part of something. You know, I wanted them to feel like they were going to be definitely part of the end result rather than acting really just like session musicians. Right. Well, it certainly seemed to work that way. Although, you can certainly feel on the album like there is a direction in it so presumably as a producer too you exercised well well i think that when you when you're choosing the people you feel like you have an affinity with some part of their musical character and you try to bring that side of them out mm -hmm. uh, you, you, t you tell them uh, what you like about their work and i think they get an idea of what you know what side of their character musical character mm -hmm. i like and they try to sort of put that into the music. Mm -hmm. I think that's how it works. I think that, I think, um, it's, it's really trying to draw out of them what I think I, I know they can do. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, they, 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 they catch on to that and it becomes a natural thing. <laughs> 